Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my channel, Random Andrew here. Uh, it's getting late at night again. I'm just sitting here typing away, working on another review for one of the coolest vape companies on the internet today, Awaken Vape. And taking a break to record a quick little video for a few people that actually have asked if I might be able to produce a quick video just to show them what I did. Uh, what I did was I followed the instructions, but when you get stuck, I'm really good at figuring out, you know, sometimes where other people are getting stuck. But I don't really know where you're getting stuck, so I'm just going to say this. What you are going to need before you can even attempt this, first things first, is you need this here. The SXI program is what it's called, and uh, long story short, it's for upgrading your IPv3 LI or other IPv products, I suppose. Now, mine came to me pre-updated, so I did not have all this stuff. It was already at, had the 200 watt update, and so this is where I got hung up. I didn't know I needed this program. So what you do is you gotta, you'll have your if you're already updated and everything. You'll need this to be able to do to actually put the changes you made to use on your IPv3. So you'll have your IP3, IPv3, in my case, connected, and like with the USB, and you'll see it'll pop up in the bottom corner, it'll say, new device found, blah, 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 and once you have this program on, it'll automatically detect, or you just click that, and it'll tell you in green letters that it's been connected. Bear with me, and I'll do that real quick right now. You're lucky. I got my batteries out and charging. So, right away I plugged it in. You heard that. And I seen uh, that pop up. But it didn't say connected. So, there you go. Right there it says device connected. So, you use it back out of here. And you just minimize that. And then Pixel Former will allow you to be able to go and uh, create your own screen image. I guess you could say a screen image. You have to bear with me on my terms and all that stuff. I know all you pros out there are probably sitting there, that's not what you call that, or that's not what you say. I really don't care, as long as you understand what the heck I'm trying to get across. So, for this, for the IPv3 LI, I'm pretty sure for the screen size, uh, it might be the, all those chip series in general, but I'm just going to say for myself, for sure I know, for the IPv3 LI, you need the custom width of 128 and the height of 32, and monochrome for your target color format. And you click OK, it'll give you this, you can pull up your text, and then you go over here to the side, and you see it just says text right now you'll change that. So, I'm not actually going to update mine. I've got my IPv thread up, set up like I like it. But just to kind of give you the rough idea of what you're going to have to do, I'm just going to go through this. So we'll just type, uh, I know, because this is where I found the mod. Hang on a second. Okay, so what you would do is you'd say IPV junkies. Boom. You do it in white because it's naturally supposed to be a black background unless you're going to do reverse and you make all the background black and then you punch your letters on white. And then it'll show up. Or no, you make all the background white and you punch your letters on black and it'll show up reverse of what you're seeing here. Get what I'm saying? No? Oh, too bad. Sorry, I tried. Now, this is where I got messed up on it. Go up to File. And instead of saving, go to Export. Export it to where you're going to want it. Um, I'm putting them right in the Logo Changer download that I received, that I download, and I'll try and do the same link in the description below for you so that you don't have any problems. Uh, so I'll just call this uh, IPV... J, so IPV junkies. Enter. And just say OK. 
So that's over there. I'll minimize that. You could actually close that because you won't need it again. Unless you're going to change something else, but yeah. Okay. So now i got to go to where I put that program. Where the heck did I put that program? Right here. Logo change release. Or sorry, logo changer 1.7 release. And then uh, Jason Joseph is the one who actually posted all of this. Thank you, Jason Joseph. Everybody who does this and watches this video and tries it, if you're successful, thank him. Jason Joseph. You'll find him in IPV Junkies as well as Juice Junkies. So, yeah, he's done the Batman image, a big FU image, a skull image. Uh, I did a couple uh, for when my batteries need to be pulled. It said, like when this is to check battery, it says no zappy zap. Um, check atomizer is now no vape for you. And a couple other ones. Yeah, oh, my wake and vape one. When I turn my IPV on currently, it says wake and vape. So, yeah. You go here, and then this one here, SX Mini Logo Changer. It's not just for the SX Mini. Now, don't have a heart attack. Start the program. Wait, wait for the music. Not a system failure, but it might give some people a heart attack. Then you go ahead and turn that music way down. Load SX data file. Okay, so where I'm working with, I know my chip is the 330, and I know it's an IPv3 Li, titanium, nickel, uh, well, temperature 200 watt. Okay, what this does is it preloads into this program what my screens are already automatically. Keep in mind, I'm not flashing mine, but what you do, if you say, say IP3 picture grid. You want to see Batman greet you when you turn it on. Boom, there you go. Slide your slider over. Check atomizer. Oops, no, 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 no. Cancel that, cancel that. Um, check atomizer. What did I say that one was again? Oh, no vape for you. Check batteries. Well, you get the idea. And then down here, so it says SX350. That's These are... The, fly, uh, the things that come on your screen for the 350, the IPv4, IPv3 LI. So if you're like me and you're working with this, these are the ones you want to go to. So for system off, what I did was I changed it so it said peace. Now uh, Jason Joseph did warn that it will not accept more than seven or eight characters, so try and keep that in mind. So for peace, you type blah blah blah, you know, peace. And then once you've got that all done, you're going to save this file that you just created. Right now, you're not doing anything for the IPv yet. You're doing what's going to go to your IPv3, what you're going to reflash all this stuff with. Everything else it flashes with is the same as what it's supposed to be. If you follow the instructions that he gives on the walkthrough on his tutorial, you can't mess up. But if you do mess up, and you try and flash the wrong thing to your machine, Picture it like bricking a cell phone. Okay? Understood? Okay. Now, like I said, once you do that, you save your file. And what I did is I already saved mine. In mine, what did I save it as? I saved it as something on here. Did I save it here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how it saves as an SXI file? Right? These are different ones that I messed around with making. So you remember that you saved them in here in this logo release changer or wherever you decide to change it. Minimize that and then go back to this. Remember this one? I said just leave it at this screen and minimize. But here's why. You'll go to the update. You'll open the file that you just created and saved in that specified folder. Got it? So the file you created using this and saved, the SXI file, you're going to open with this. Okay? And once that's done, you hit upgrade. Take about 30 seconds. It'll let you know when it's done. Then you disconnect your 
I'm gonna, I can, let me close all this stuff up. We'll pretend that I just did all that, okay? And safely remove hardware. Safe to remove. Oh yeah, I think my background. It's a little more colorful than what I had on there before. Ugh. Okay. So. Oh, look at that. You guys are so lucky, too. You guys are so lucky. My batteries are done charging just in time. So, yeah. Uh, this crazy sale going on right now. This weekend. On Wake and Vape. And when I seen it, I actually did one of those jaw drop effects. Crunch, did you hear that? It wasn't as bad as it sounded. Alright, I'm trying to do this so we can keep the time down on the video. Five clicks to turn it on. There's the IPV logo. Wake and babe. Okay. Uh, no atomizer on there, so no vape for you. Okay. And then, oh yeah, I forgot to show you for when you check your resistance. I don't know if you don't have one of these and you wouldn't know about it, but if you do, you know about it. Press these two buttons and it'll tell you your set resistance. And normally this would say set resistance all zeros because there's no addy on it. Mine just says U-Rock right now. Because I couldn't think of anything else to put, but yeah. There's your eight spaces, eight characters, eight digits, whatever. Uh, what else did I change? I think that was it. So we'll just wait for a second for the screen to shut off. And when you do your system off, okay, peace. It's out of here. That's pretty cool. Gotta thank Jason Joseph. That is an ultimate, ultimate thing to be able to do to this. Uh, some people run out and buy the DNA 200 chip just to be able to customize their screens. There's a lot more to the DNA 200 chip and customizability with your computer, though. This, this just gives the uh, IPv3 Li an extra feature, being able to customize that, so long as you can understand it. So I'll try and provide all the links in the video or in the description below. And if you do it, go thank Jason Joseph. Sorry. I see the name too many times and it starts getting an old time about. Yeah. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it useful, please comment below on what you changed your screen to. And uh, have yourselves a great vaping weekend. See you later.